Hey everybody, we are teaching Vermilion. Let's talk a little bit about color today. And we're specifically going to talk about color temperature. When people talk about colors being warm or cool, this is what they're talking about. Temperature using color. Now I've got my color wheel broken into two pieces. You notice I didn't complete my greens and purples. Because I'm going to talk about these two opposing sets of colors. Now these top colors, starting with blue, these are what we're going to call the cool colors. Just seeing those colors tends to bring down the temperature. So things like the cool deep forest or under the ocean or shadows on ice and snow. These are all colors associating with the blues and the greens as far as cool temperature sorts of colors. The bottom sets of colors are obviously recognizable as fiery colors, hot colors, warm colors. These are the ones people tend to be talking about. Now temperature, heat, doesn't seem really appropriate for painting, for visual, but there's a number of different effects these colors are gonna have. For example, the warm colors, the hot colors, tend to pop forward. Whereas the cool colors tend to go backwards. So if we just saw the colors together on a field, no context. So I'm not talking about shape or setting. I'm just talking about if we had pure color on canvas. Cool colors tend to fall back a little bit, recede, calm down. Fiery colors tend to pop forward, jump. So if they have the same saturation, the same intensity, they're still going to try to find these relative uh, positions. So if I just do bars of color, the fire colors come forward and the cool colors go back. They also tend to elicit a little bit of feeling in most people who view it. Not everybody. Everybody's going to take a little different from each painting, especially if there is shape or context. But as far as colors go, the cool colors tend to be a little more calming, a little more sedate. Whereas the fire colors tend to excite the viewer a little bit. Not necessarily angry, not necessarily uh, a negative feeling, but tends to bring out a little more passion, a little more vibrancy in whatever message you may be trying to say. Now, it doesn't have to use these colors across the whole painting for this effect. If I have mostly greens and blues in the painting, I can still use splashes of these fire colors to focus attention, to bring out a little more excitement. You'll notice if this was a full color wheel, these colors are pretty much opposite to each other. So they really stand out boldly when used next to each other or together in the same painting. A forest painting in greens and blues, if I have birds and flowers in reds and orange, they're really going to pop. They're really going to stand out. Or an underwater scene in blues and purples, any brightly colored fish are going to pop out against the background. And we'll have even more of a three-dimensional effect as these bright colors stand forward. Now, we can always play with these in different ways. Have a bright background with the blues as your foreground objects and play with these colors as much as you like. These aren't hard, fast rules. Everybody doesn't get excited about their fire colors. It's just more of a general way to approach color as you come up with a painting. If you're painting from a photograph or painting something that's more representational, you may or may not use these colors as much. But you could think of ways of bringing them in. So if I'm doing a portrait, I could still use different colors for the clothes in the background to try to enhance a certain mood. Or even if I'm painting from a photograph, like a landscape or a city, Bringing in colors, even if they aren't in the original, bringing in these colors can help enhance a certain mood. I hope this makes sense as ways of using color temperature, warm versus cool, what it means when somebody's talking about it, and how you can use some of these in paintings of your own. Let us know if you've got some good examples in the comments below. We love to link to our viewers' artwork just so people can inspire each other and show each other what they've done. Let us know if you have questions as well, how to use these colors in different ways, or if you need some more examples. Or even if you have questions about art and would like other subjects for lessons, let us know. We do read the comments and we appreciate hearing from our viewers. 
So this is Vermilion, the oil painting app in VR. And today we were talking about using color temperature, what it means and how to use it in your paintings. I hope this helps. Have a lot of fun. We'll see you next time, everybody.